How's it going YouTube and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. So on today's video, we're back on the Dakota today. It's been a while, but I'm excited to get back on it. Got a little mod we're throwing on her today. So today we will be getting rid of these old fog lights here. These are not stock. As you can see at the bottom, it says bling light, but this one's cracked and I'm really not liking the look anymore. They're getting a little old and I think it's time to go and time to upgrade them to something a little more modern. So let me show you guys what I got. So as you guys can see, got some nice halos here. The white around the, the main bulb, that can change to any color of the rainbow that you want. So I'm gonna get ready to take off those old ones that are on the truck right now. And hopefully we can get these ones wired in today. So let's get to work. Well, as you guys can see, I got the fog lights out that were attached to the truck already. And as if you guys couldn't tell, these lights are made for a Jeep, but they were the right size diameter to fit in the holes in my bumper. So I think they're gonna work out pretty good. It might be a little tricky dealing with this wiring because I'm not good at wiring at all, but I have faith in myself that I'll figure it out. So I'm gonna run this harness and see what I can do. And I need to find a place to mount this control module for the uh, the color changing Bluetooth stuff. I don't know whatever you want to call it, but. Yeah. Well guys, between the last clip that you just saw and this one, a whole day has actually passed because these brackets, and as you saw in the previous clip, we ended up bending them. These were from the old aftermarket lights and we ended up bending them to fit the new ones so they'll slip over like this actually it's upside down so they will slip over like this and line up with the holes that are right on the light so these will work out good glad i didn't have to worry about finding or making my own brackets that i could just modify the ones i had and luckily that works so we're going to get the lights mounted up to the brackets right now and hopefully get them on the truck and then i guess we'll eventually dive into the wiring and see how that goes so well guys delay after delay after delay the simplest install always ends up being one of the hardest things so the bracket that I installed on the lights ended up not working. It will work, just gotta make a little modification to it. That this mounting hole that was drilled in it won't mount back up to the hole that was drilled into the mounting point on the truck. It, it will line up, but not to where I want the light positioned in the bumper because I want it flush with the opening before they were re recessed in and I would like them flush. So how I'm gonna do that is gonna make a little one inch adapter and that'll push the light forward so there'll be a mounting hole back here, a little spacer, and then this mounting hole here. So it'll just bring the lights up right to where they're supposed to be. So I'm gonna get those made and then we'll finally get them put on the trucks. 2,000 years later. So guys, it's the next day here. Ended up getting these spacers made. Hopefully this works. And they'll just mount up just like this on the top of the light bracket and it'll push it back an inch or out an inch once it's in the bumper. So. I'm going to get that mounted on and then get ready to throw it on the truck. So hopefully all that works out. We finally got the lights in the truck. They were a lot harder to get in than I first initially thought but i think they came out pretty good they look good in there now the only thing left to do is get them working properly and i actually found out that the stock wires from the original fog lights that were on the truck are actually still on it so i'm going to try to wire in these new ones to the 
original wires that were still on the truck. That way I can just eliminate that flip switch altogether. And I can show you guys. So I can eliminate this altogether and just put them in here and just pull out on that in order to turn them on. <clears throat> and I think that'll really clean up the look. It'll eliminate that extra wire, that extra switch, and it just makes it functional like an original. So I'm gonna get to work on wiring those in. I'm gonna be soldering them in because the lights actually have a disconnect on them. So if I was ever to need to take them out, I can just use that disconnect and uh, they'll come right out. So I'm gonna get to work and show you guys the end result. So I'm filming in the dark here guys, finally got the lights installed as you see, the colors look pretty nice and I got the app up on my phone here and pretty much change it to any color you want, pretty responsive, pretty satisfied with it and you can also go to the dynamic mode and there's a ton of different uh, selections you can pick from with all these different chasing effects and it's got some pretty cool effects preloaded into this app and uh overall pretty satisfied with it I'm not sure how the the footage is going to turn out because my camera is not the best in low light but we'll just go with it and hopefully it comes out good and it also has a speed control so you can slow them down or speed them up as well as brightness so you can dim them or make them brighter not sure how well it's going to show up on camera here but they're a lot better in person i'll tell you that that's my review on them Well guys, as I was editing this video, I realized I didn't film an outro for it, so here it is. Very satisfied with the lights. I think they came out good. They look good. They work good. Very happy with them. I'd recommend them to anybody, whether you have a Dakota or a Jeep, because like I said, they were meant for a Jeep, but I made them to fit on my Dakota, and they worked out pretty good. So, pretty satisfied with that. Maybe the next mod I'll do to it is get some new headlights, because they're getting pretty worn out and maybe just upgrade the front end a little bit you know but getting very close to 10,000 subscribers guys just blows my mind I, I never thought that we'd even come close to that so if you guys are new to the channel be sure to subscribe we'll do a 10,000 
subscriber celebration video with all the vehicles and uh, we'll do a giveaway for you guys so be on the lookout for that it'll probably be the next video make sure you guys like and comment on this video as well it helps us out helps us keep growing and I guess I'll just sign off with the usual and we'll catch you in the next video maybe we'll be at 10,000 subs by then always accelerate and don't look back catch you on the next one